Hey, welcome back to AWS reInvent in Las Vegas. Uh, we're live on Twitch, and in this session, we're going to talk about what is possibly the most surprising and exciting announcement uh, this year. But before we open the box and go crazy, I want to give our guests a chance to introduce themselves. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Sunil. Uh, I'm part of the Deep Racer team. Hey, I'm Mike Miller. I uh, orchestrate the Deep, Deep Lens and the Deep Racer teams. Everyone, I'm Brandon. You've probably been seeing me on Twitch all day long, so let's, uh, we'll just stop there. So I guess, uh, well, we all saw the announcement, right, on, uh, on Deep Racer. So it's a car. It can do things. Uh, it's a bit of an autonomous vehicle, at, you know, reduced scale. Uh, you can train it. We're going to talk about that. But before, again, we open the box and ignore everything but that car, um, Let's go back to last year. So Sunil, last year uh, yeah. and all, all year actually, uh, we've been doing uh, Robocar rallies, uh, right? Yeah. And yes. uh, I guess it was a first step in that direction. So Robocar, and some of you participated to the workshops and everything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Uh, Robocar was, was fun. How is that different? Yeah, uh, so Robocar Rally uh, essentially used imitation learning uh, or behavioral cloning where uh, somebody had to drive the car around, collect data. You had to be careful about what data you collected. Um, and then train a model. So there was this cycle of uh, you know you're not you're not knowing what data you've collected, and it was uh, comparatively harder, I would say. Mm -hmm. So with reinforcement learning, what we are trying to do is it's more intuitive way of learning as a human being, where you're rewarding uh, the car to uh, like rewards uh, when it stays on track, and when it goes off track, you don't give it rewards. And so you can craft a way for the car to do things. And all of this is actually done completely on the cloud. Right. So we have a simulation powered by AWS RoboMaker. And we have the auto algorithm that's powered by uh, Amazon SageMaker. And all that the user is doing is actually writing a reward function. All the under underlying or undifferentiated heavy lifting is being done, in this case, by Amazon SageMaker right. to help train the model. OK, so you talked about reinforcement learning, reward function. Uh, let's take a few minutes, OK? Uh, not all the viewers and uh, maybe actually not so many viewers uh, will be familiar with machine learning. Some of them might be familiar with uh, supervised learning, yeah. unsupervised learning. Reinforcement learning is really something else. Yeah. So how, how could we explain reinforcement learning in, in just a few minutes? Let me actually start by just teeing up that, uh, you know, the Deep Racer device itself, we really got inspiration from uh, both the Robocar Rally, but also the reaction that we got last year to the AWS Deep Lens device, right. which was a deep learning enabled video camera designed to get uh, deep learning uh, into the hands of developers and really allow them a fun way to learn about machine learning. And so when SageMaker RL was being uh, built out, we wanted to find something similar that could get customers hands-on experience yeah, with thing. SageMaker yeah. in a real fun kind of way. And that's really where okay, uh, Deep Racer was born. Comparison. Yeah, Deep absolutely. Because we realized that uh, reinforcement learning has a pretty steep learning curve. Although, exactly. you know, if you're in machine learning it circles, yeah, it is weird. in machine learning circles, there's a lot of buzz about, about reinforcement learning because it's very powerful. You know, you optimize a series of short-term decisions to reach a long-term goal. Um, and we realized, though, that because of this steep learning cur curve, we really needed to give developers a way to get hands-on with the technology. And in a fun way, right? What yeah, could be more exciting a, than an autonomous This is car. an amazing way. Like, when I saw this announced, I was giddy. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these and start playing around with it. And I've never done anything with, really, with machine learning or mm -hmm. reinforcement learning. So this is, uh, you've got the right hook. Yeah, I, th I think key, developers are going to love this. You are a key audience. I yeah. talked to a gentleman last night who uh, said, everything in machine learning that I know now, I learned from using a deep lens device. And so we wanted to have the same exact experience with DeepRacer. OK, so like I said, reinforcement learning, when you start from scratch, it's pretty daunting. OK, so yeah. uh, hopefully we're, you know, we're trying to make it simpler. So I would say in, in reinforcement learning terms, what are we looking at here? You already mentioned RoboMaker, so the simulator. Right. Right. Okay, take so us through the different steps. Take us through the different moving parts that uh, that make the the deep racing uh, uh, the deep racer system. So you can essentially uh, consider two components. One is the simulation piece hosted by uh, yeah, RoboMaker, and then you have the RL piece, which is SageMaker, and. The simulation environment, what we've done is we've actually recreated the track that uh, is physically now at the MGM Grand Arena. 
uh, and the simulator has uh, um, uh, you know the environment, the track, but also the car, and it's replicating the real car. So, for example, the mass. Uh, the, the physics aspect of the car and what friction, the tire size, all of that is so matched. You could, you could start without without a car, actually. Absolutely. Yeah? Okay, Absolutely. That's good news. All of this environment okay. is pre-set up. We've, we've actually enabled that. Um, and then uh, we have the RL piece. So what RL, the way it learns is by the agent, which in our case is the car, interacting with the environment, which is the truck. And it gets rewards based on the actions it takes. So it's just sort of like playing a video game. So you know we have an action space where the car goes left, right, straight, slight left, and so on. And what, what, the, what the agent is trying to do is collect cumulative rewards, which is to get to the finish line. And this, this happens uh, for each action. And you have, um, you have the simulation piece sending this information to RL, uh, which is hosted on SageMaker and it then building the model and sending it back to simulation. So there's a mix of um, sort of this learning that's happening, and over time, you get a trained model. Yeah, so it's, it's a cycle of exploring, learning, exploring, Explo learning, yes. and trying to maximize so rewards. Initially, yeah. uh, the car takes a lot of different actions, uh, and we learn, we have those samples. And when the model learns, we reduce the point in terms of exploring or randomize, uh, and we give model more control because it's learning, sure. and then eventually we have a trained model. Okay, so we get to a point using a RoboMaker where uh, the car does a reasonably good job at staying on track, you know, hopefully being quite fast, etc. So what, what happens next? Uh, next, you, next, you deploy your model, you download it, and you deploy it onto the device, and you drive it, and you allow that to autonomously drive the device around a track that matches the track that you trained it on in the simulator. Okay, so you need to, you need to build a track at home. <laughs> we'll give right? we'll, Let's we'll go to create lots of interesting, interesting discussions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Everyone Good on luck, Twitch everybody. Is, <laughs> everyone on Twitch is really, really excited <laughs> to see this thing. So can we, can we start unboxing this and get our yeah, hands on it? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. It's the most exciting part, cool. looking at the car. All right. So we got some safety packaging in here. And now I've pimped out my device with some stickers already, so devices won't quite look this fantastically fast. Uh, oh, yeah, so this is, this is the device. Uh, it's built off of a 118th scale 4x4 monster truck chassis, and it's got a compute module uh, attached to it so okay. that uh, it can run the RL model on it, and it's got a camera in the front. So the wide part up here is the front yeah, because so we've the got the camera which, in it. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've got a clear it's spot in the back for some LED lights okay. to shine through, and uh, this is it. We can take the top oh, off yeah, if we want to and well, take a take a look at what's yeah. under the hood. Yeah. So yeah. With, with this and chassis, we, we have really a question wanted... from Twitch. Oh, that, yeah. uh, Janisku7 is asking, uh, you know, winter is coming. Is this thing ready for snow and ice? Can it drive <laughs> with low well, traction got, conditions? Yeah, got, it looks like it. It does tires. have knobby tires. Yeah. Okay, so but we'll have to test it out and see. <laughs> I mean, we, we can. I mean, we'll. Uh, that's a good suggestion. Like we could add stuff into a simulation. So in the fullness of time, we'll have more control uh, for people to inject noise and other stuff into the system, and you can build more robust models. This looks like the, a bit of deep lens uh, chopped off, is it? It absolutely is. This All is right. the same camera assembly from the deep Frankenstein lens Frankenstein engineering, I love that. <laughs> absolutely. Um, so let's just take you through it. So uh, you can see, obviously, on the bottom half of the device here is the um, car chassis. There's a car battery and the car engine on the rear side here that you can kind of make out. And then this black piece that's pinned to the top uh, holds the Intel Apollo Lake. It's running an Atom CPU. Okay. We've got uh, 32 gigs of, uh, er, of EMMC memory on there um, and we've used uh, Linux uh, Ubuntu software uh, and the Intel Open Vino toolkit which okay. provides us a way to optimize the reinforcement learning model okay. and execute it efficiently on the nice. Intel uh, chipset and there's also HDMI so you can plug it into your uh, monitor if you want okay so we've trained that we've, we've simulated we've trained we've deployed to the uh, to the car, it starts running, and and how do we improve it? What's the what's the typical cycle afterwards? Yeah, because uh, people are going to get competitive with this. Absolutely. Right? So there are two parts. One is the sim part and the real part, right? On the sim, what we have done is uh, we actually log a lot of metrics and how the car 
uh, like the XY coordinates of the car, what was steering, what was the throttle. There's a lot of bunch of uh, metrics that are spit out to log, uh, CloudWatch. And we have uh, a notebook that's actually open source on how on extracting the log, recreating uh, reward heat maps. Uh, also, uh, you could actually dissect a part of the experiment and know what actions did the car take, what was the reward. So you could really go to a period in time and dissect yeah, so and understand. Yeah, so maybe the car is, you know, it's cutting to, corners too yeah, much. Yeah, absolutely. And you want to figure out why. Yeah, so you can like pick that uh, portion in time and zoom in and look at the action. So you can be like, hey, that was a left turn. Why is my car taking right turns? Maybe something is off. And then you can tweak your reward function uh, to uh, disincentivize the car to take right turns at that point, and so it can actually take those left turns. Okay, so the secret sauce is, is in winning the races is doing that, right? It's debugging, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, yeah, debugging and tweaking the, the, the reward yeah. function. But, yeah, uh, but I almost might say it's, an e it's art and science here, yeah, right, of tuning, yeah. your, tuning so your model. Don't over-engineer, that's my <laughs> tip. Is, so, uh, there was a question from, from someone on Twitch who was asking, can, can this platform be extended? Can you add other sensors and that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, absolutely, Mike. Yeah, so when we designed this, we added a few extra USB ports. Certainly on the front, there's two more. We always envisioned down the road, maybe we could expand this into a more stereo uh, vision kind of uh, device. Uh, we've also got you know a micro USB port on here um, and uh, other capabilities that allow you to kind of take and move it forward. You know, especially with uh, as RL is concerned, you know, you can build models and train it on different tracks. So there yeah. might be an element of, of adding some clever hardware, some other sensors uh, to being able to win these races as absolutely. well, not just programming the machine Should learning I take this aspect. Off? Sure. There you well, go. Uh, let me just correct you. So the races actually are based around the stock hardware. Okay. If you're going to go and modify the hardware, yeah. hey, you're more than welcome to do yeah. so, but uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be, be in sort of a different yeah. uh, different class, yeah. right? You'll be TQ'd, yeah. right? Like exactly. class classes, there's exactly. different, uh, different types. Absolutely. Stock car, so, prototypes, yeah. right. oh my goodness. Exactly. Yeah. So the That's idea awesome. is that you know you can actually have the left camera and the right camera. Okay. So we've uh, kept in mind the extensibility that people might want to bring uh, to the platform. Okay, so like I said, people are going to get competitive because that's, that's who we are. Um, I think there's something happening tonight. Uh, can, yeah. you, can you tell us about it? Yeah, Mike, you know, we should talk about Deep Racer League yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, so yeah. actually, when we when we built this thing, you know, we built it as a developer tool for folks to get hands on. And as we started using it and testing it, you know, Sunil would kind of say, "Well, you know, I got actually a faster lap than you did." And we were like, "Boom!" The light bulb went off. We're like, "We need a competition here. What's what what's a cars without contest?" So we launched this morning the AWS Deep Racer League, which will be a year long competition in 2019. Both physically at AWS summits around the globe, as well as online, where we'll release new maps every month for customers to train and tweak their models. However, we've kicked off the 2018 sort of version of that league here at reInvent, and starting at 11.30 today, we started racing cars over in the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Customers can show up if they've been through our workshop, or even if not, they can just show up and get hands-on time with building a model or selecting a model and racing it on the track to participate in the league. The top three lap times as of this evening will part will race in a final tomorrow morning right before Werner's keynote. All right, well, that's, awesome. That, that's Wait, awesome. So there's another that's question awesome. from Abomb TV on Twitch. What is the top speed? Whoa. Ah. So the top <laughs> speed on the car can be about uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour, okay. uh, which is pretty fast. Uh, but also, uh, at that point, uh, you know, the answer is not always going fast, because you might not yeah, be able to exactly. make those turns and control well. Uh, so you have to match the uh, fr frame rate. You have to match uh, a lot of different things. And ideally, you need a big circuit for going really fast. Uh, but having said that, with the lap times that we've seen, the fastest lap time on the leadboard now is 14 seconds for our lap. And uh, we were at 14, 17, and 17.8 seconds. That's pretty fast, I would say. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yep. Uh, people are also asking, will this be available to purchase outside of the United States? Yeah, so the current pre-order uh, that's available now is in the US. However, we are planning ahead, and we will make it available in other countries uh, later in 2019. We just don't have any official dates yeah, right now. Absolutely, sounds great. All right, any more questions? Uh, yeah, someone was asking, uh, is it uh, Solips? I'm not going to try to pronounce that name, but will this fit in a cube stat? And can you deliver it to Venus? Can we can we get some uh, reinforcement learning uh, autonomous vehicles? 
<laughs> I'm guessing it would, right? It's, it's pretty small. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, but I mean, that's, actually, that's a good point, Brandon. Uh, I think the whole idea is to spark ideas and apply reinforcement learning. We actually are here to educate people on reinforcement learning and how can you apply the concepts that you learn in a fun way in building uh, some really crazy applications uh, and, 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 and business potential unlocking, business potential in your applications. Yeah, so, I, mean, I want to come back next year and talk to a customer and have them tell me, everything I knew about machine learning and yeah. reinforcement learning, I learned from DeepRacer. Like, so, that would be a success for I us. I guess a lot of people are excited by this and they, you know, they, they, they like to try it and get started. And for now, you know, you can get started with a simulation, right? Yeah. So, um, what, what, what are the, the, the few tips and how do you get started tonight, right? If yeah. you're not in Vegas and you have only access Certainly. to RoboMaker, so me, how do you get started? Yeah, so two things. So first, the car, as we mentioned, is available for pre-order on Amazon.com. The uh, console uh, experience right now is uh, going to be released in preview okay. uh, and interested developers can sign up for our wait list, so just go to aws.amazon.com slash deep racer and you'll get all the information there. The preview is being provided for some of the folks who are in the workshops here at reInvent. However, we'll start um, you know, adding people to the whitelist um, down the road, and those folks sure. will get a hands-on view of the console. So when developers want to start building for this, what's, what's the framework, what languages, what tool sets are they using to actually build right. those reinforcement so, learning models? So uh, it's, it's all Python code. Uh, most of, uh, so the reward function you write is Python code. And the RL side of things, it's uh, based on SageMaker, uh, where we, again, you're writing Python code. Uh, but in the console experience, you don't need to really muck around with too much. We've made it easier. We've done the heavy lifting on exposing the right set of constructs, which is the reward function and parameters from the simulation that you can right. use but also exposing the hyperparameters as well. Uh, but How much code are we talking about? I mean, so, ballpark. Uh, like, I want to say, uh, I was talking to the person who did the fastest lab, uh, and the, the reward function they wrote was about 12, uh, I think, or 12 or 15 lines of code. Wow. So it's not okay, much so, at all. Okay, so but it's all about intelligence. You, don't, yeah, you, yep. you need a strategy, but uh, you, you don't need to be a hardcore machine learning expert. You don't need to be a hardcore coder. Um, you know, if you right. if you have experience with remote controlled cars but and not machine learning, and, and if you have good intuition, you might just be winning this, right? So go and join the preview, start tweaking, okay. and uh, and let us know how you do. Please tweet your yeah. your uh, and if your times, and you know, let's and, and join uh, f further AWS events yeah. and and join the races. Okay, this yeah, is for everybody. And also, like if you're around at reInvent, come to MGM Grand Arena. Uh, we're gonna have a DJ music, race offs. Uh, so please come and learn and ask us questions. You can win. You can win a device actually. So if you right. come down to the MGM Speedway, you'll have a chance to win one. Can, right. can AWS employees win too, or <laughs> probably not, right? Because I, I really want one of these things. Uh, unfortunately not. All right. All right. Cool. Thank you very much. Like I said, this is this is a, a weird, exciting project from AWS. Yeah. And uh, it's good to see uh, it's good to see this coming to life. Thanks, Thanks again. Thanks, Julian. Uh, Thank uh, you. Stay That's tuned. We've got more sessions and join that preview and start racing. See you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. See you.